Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Miss V here today. Today I'm doing a challenge. I'm doing a hashtag self care box challenge that was issued by the lovely Sanal. Sanal over at Sanal Beautiful Gems. Hey, Sanal. Um, and in this challenge, she has asked her to do exactly what it said just make a self care box. And in that box, she wants you to put things in the box that make you happy, that um, help you to live a more fulfilled life. Things that, you know, that you do for yourself that make you happy. So you fill the box up, any box that you have, and just fill it up and make a video showing, you know, those items and explain why each one of those items are important to you. So my box is a box that was gifted to me. And on the front of it, it says, whatever you are, be a good one. So I thought this box was appropriate for this challenge. And in order for me, whatever you are, be a good one. So I serve several roles. I'm sure you all do too. I'm a mother, grandmother, sister, um, friend, aunt, wife, healthcare worker, all those things. And in order for me to fulfill those roles, I got to take care of myself. And I'm gonna tell you some of the things I do to take care of myself. But first, I'm gonna tell you about this um, the few ideas I get off Pinterest. These are ideas for self care, and they're in three different categories the physical, mental, and emotional. These are just some ideas that they had written down to help you with your self care. And in the physical um, category, it says go for a walk, dance. Y'all know I like to dance. I wish I had a clip of me dancing. I might can find one and inserted in this video. Hike, that's if you like to do these things. These are just examples. Swim, get a hug, or you can give a hug. Um, play with a dog, whatever animal you like, if you like animals. Clean and organize your house, that's me. As long as everything is clean and organized, I'm so happy. Y'all should know that by my videos. I love cleaning organization. That's just a passion I have, I just love it and take a bubble bath. So those are some physical ways you can show self-care. And some of the mental ways is read a book. Well, when I read the Bible, that's, that's my mental way of um, showing self-care. Learn a new skill. That's always exciting. It's good to challenge yourself. Do a DIY project. Yay! I told y'all that helps me mentally doing these DIY projects because all you're thinking about is whatever you're trying to create at that moment. You're not thinking about what happened yesterday at work or 10 weeks ago. You're just thinking about that project and it is so relaxing. So that's why I love DIYs. You can color or paint. And very important, you can just turn off your cell phone. I've done that. Even though when I did do it, I did have some uh, emergency phone calls. But I mean, it wasn't much I could do about it anyway. So it still was relaxing for me to actually turn the phone off. It was just that my sister was in the hospital. You know, I found out about it once I um, turned my phone back on. But it wasn't nothing I could do. I, I wasn't going to do I was gonna do the same thing I would have did if I would answer the phone. I'd just go see her and make sure she's okay. So I still say turn your cell phone off at least for a few hours a day, sometimes. And the emotional things you can do is meditate. I do that a lot. Practice yoga. I've been doing yoga this year talk with a friend it says talk with a friend I, i'm gonna add about positive things because we're not gonna be gossiping to our friends that's that's not helping you with self-care go on a date my husband takes me on one at least every other week journal i'm loving journaling i love to write down things and write down some of the things that you're grateful for so those are three categories that i found on pinterest and i thought it would be appropriate for this um challenge and so that's all I have for you in the way of, um, I give you a quote before the video and I'm give you one at the end about self-care. And now I'm going to get into what's in my box. What makes Miss V happy? Well, this is not in the box. I meant to put it in there, but lighting a candle, just smelling the candles, it relaxes me. So, candle. And what I have in the box is, I'm going to try to do it in categories. One thing I have learned to love is makeup. I just like playing in makeup. Um, my husband always say, you don't need it. I say, I know, but I want it. So I like makeup. So this is a pretty makeup bag that I got from the Dollar Tree that I'm loving. So I love makeup. So 
this is my favorite foundation right now. It's by Maybelline. It's called Super Stay Full Coverage. I'm loving this. And I have this in the color 355 Coconut. I love this foundation. This is what I wear every day. I got on phone now. I love it because you can't really tell I have on makeup. Um, and before I apply my makeup to show self-care to my um, skin, I always apply some type of moisturizer. This is a moisturizer that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back. But I use the um, puns, but I'm out of the puns. But this is what I'm presently using. Some type of moisturizer. Any type of moisturizer. To protect your skin from the makeup going directly on your skin. And I got some high-end makeup. And some drugstore makeup. I'm not, it doesn't really matter to me. Just, if it's something I like, then I just like it. I got a MAC eyeshadow that I love. This color. By MAC. And I got an Urban Decay eyeshadow that I like. It's a shimmery. And the other high end, I guess it's, I guess it's a high end. I got some Mary Kay powder foundation that I've had for years. I'm trying to hurry up and use it up. And I love any type of eyeshadow. As long as it's, uh, you know, it's very pigmented. This is one by CoverGirl. I haven't used this yet, but I'm just showing it to you because it's makeup. And this is a palette that I hadn't used yet, but it's some pretty colors. I'm going to be experimenting on here shortly. And I love chapsticks and lip gloss. Any kind of lip balm, lip color, or lip gloss. Any kind of lip gloss. So I love those. All that makes me happy. And the other thing that I like is these masks that you put on your face to hydrate your face and get rid of some of the dead skin. I like to do these. I do these about, I only do them about once a month. And these are the same brand, but these are the cleansing wipes that I use to take my makeup off. And this is the mask by that same brand, Cocoa Butter Cleansing Wipe by Rich Radiant. And I have since fallen in love. I've only used it once, but I fell in love with it. A foot mask that you get from the Dollar Tree. And it just gets all the dead skin off your feet. And it shows you how to do it. It lasts for, you do it for 15 minutes. Let it sit on for 15 minutes. And the idea I came up with, I'm going to go ahead and um, use my heating pad the next time I do this. I'm, I'm going to put this on my heating pad to warm it up because it was kind of cold the last time I did it. And what else makes Miss V's happy? Dove. I love Dove soap. It doesn't leave your skin feeling dry. It's very moisturizing. And I love the Dove Intensive Care Cream. I'm loving it. And I love Mary Kay Satin Hands. I got the whole set. I might be missing some of it. But anyway, you get the you get the nourishing cream. Well, first you do the scrub. Then you get the nourishing cream. And then you have the softener. I love that. And then I love, also love the Mary Kay body wash. This is new. And Miss V is very germaphobic, so I love to have my hand sanitizer cut down on infections and every so often I like to do my bath bombs and when I'm feeling stressed out and feel like I may have trouble going to sleep I like to spray this um, stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint um, pillow mist on my sheets at night and it really works I got this from Bath and Body Works and when I know that I need to relax I'm going to go ahead and put my eye mask on so this is it these are the things that makes miss um v happy and thank you miss Lenov, beautiful gems for coming up with this great um challenge i think it's wonderful self-care is very good self-care it's very important. It shows that you're confident when you take care of yourself. And just like she said, you um, 
you don't want your cup to be half filled. You want to, you want to give people the overflow. You want to give people the same thing you have. So you don't want you want to pour out a few things that are, that are already in you. You don't you can't pour out. Like, if you don't know how to love, you can't love someone else. If you don't know how to be kind, you can't be kind to someone else. So, thank you so much again for this challenge. And Miss V is going to go take care of herself and be a great mother, grandmother, friend, wife, and healthcare worker. So, like I always say, I'm going to continue to show you love. And I'm going to help you save on some of the things you need to get some of the things you want. And I'll link Miss Anal all her videos in my description box. The invitation video, she also did a video showing you how to set up a self-care box. And she did one giving you ideas for a self-care box. And she um said it's okay if you can't um, upload your video today. August, Friday, August the 10th, you can upload it whenever you can. So I thought that was great. So as I said earlier, I'm going to continue to help you save on some of the things you need to get some of the things you want. Thank you and have a nice day. Take care of yourself.